There's the Indonesians. Tantoi, Akvant and Liliana Natsia. Qualified for the Super Series finals as number five on the Super Series list. Ten tournaments, ten of the twelve they played. Missed Hong Kong because they were busy winning a gold medal at the Southeast Asian Games in mixed doubles. And also missed the China Masters. But earlier this year, the Indonesians reached number two in the world rankings. Couple of spells at world number two, a total of nine weeks. The Indonesians really had a wonderful run in the middle of last year. Four consecutive finals, winning three consecutive titles the India Super Series event, and then the Malaysian Grand Prix Gold, and then the Singapore Super Series, and then the following week at the Premier Super Series event in Indonesia. They reached the final and they lost in that final to their opponents of today. So Tantoi Akbat, the 24-year-old, only formed their partnership last year, three tournaments last year. First three tournaments, they reached three finals. Liliana Natsia, what an experienced and successful mixed doubles player she is. 26 years of age. Yeah, Liliana Natsia has actually just tested a couple of the shuttles and saying that they're way too slow. She's really not happy. You can see she's testing those well short of the service line. You can see the two marks there in the bottom, bottom right hand side of the screen. Shuttle should be landing between those two. She's complaining that they're too slow. Yes, and she knows what she's talking about because having won the World Championship twice, silver medal at the Beijing Olympics as well, all of those results with Nova Widianto. She's not happy at all. So to the World Champions, Zhao Yunlei and her partner, Zhao Yunlei, 25 years of age, her partner, Jiang Nan, there he is, 21, born in Beijing. Tall man, 185, that's about six foot one. And they have not only number one on the world ranking, number one on the Super Series ranking, having played 11 of the 12 tournaments. Missed out in India. Well, that's the last time they met, the final of the Indonesian Open, and that was the fourth of four tournament final appearances by the Indonesians. It really was an incredible run in the summer. So, the Indonesians We have a look at our court officials for this mixed doubles encounter. Indonesians, seven finals this year, winning five. Pretty good record, isn't it? But not as good as this pair. Seven titles won every final that they've reached this year which suggests that the world champions are indeed big match players I found that all a little bit strange because Natsir and Tantau have complained all the way through the warm about the speed of the shuttles and the umpire called time for them to start the match and they really hadn't had a, a knock up they really hadn't warmed up It'll be interesting to see how they start this game. Yeah, it's interesting also. We made 
a lot of comment yesterday about the fact that they didn't have a coach sitting behind the court and I'm looking down behind the court now and once again there appears to be no coach Certainly, I think if a coach had been there, he'd say concentrate on the warm-up and then ask about the speed of the shuttle when you call to play. But as it was, they spent the warm-up testing shuttles and I'm not sure they're ready to go. Here, still not happy with the speed of these shuttles, you'd have to say. Again, taking the opportunity between the point just to oh. test it. Ian, on the way down to the stadium today, you and I were discussing all the possible scenarios of who could qualify in this mixed doubles group, and it's still wide open, isn't it? Uh, but one thing is certain is that if the Indonesians want any hope of qualifying, they have to win this match. Yes, and you'd probably have to say looking at the other game the second Chinese pair are hot favorites to beat the British pair therefore that would mean Indonesians probably need a straight set win really to be in the calculation yes because it all gets quite complicated obviously a match win is the most important thing but if two pairs are have the same number of match wins then it comes down to the difference between number of games one and lost so if you've won in two straight games but lost in three that's obviously uh, produces a better win-loss game record than winning and losing in three games and then if everybody's still equal again if it's two pairs that are equal it's a simple head-to-head -head who won between those two pairs if it's three pairs that are still equal then it comes down to the number of points won and lost it really all does get very complicated indeed. We're leaving you in charge of the mathematical comp compilations of that, Ian. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, a couple of errors already from Ahmed down that forehand wing mid-court really stepping onto the shuttle there, that in the shuttle come to him, taking it alongside him rather than out in front. Anticipating the attack down the centre of the court. She's lining up in forehand defence there. She's saying, yep, yeah, saying to herself, she should have been on the backhand side. That's a great angle, though. Super. 
Great agility. We saw this in the first game yesterday, didn't we? Natsir getting in and dominating the front court. Got them off to a good start against the second Chinese pair. Gradually, the Chinese pair were able to direct more and more shuttles to Ahmed, keep Natsir out of the game. And that's what changed the changed the situation. Love the skill again. See the Chinese tactic trying to keep Natsir off that net position, forcing her into the rear court. She's got such good skill. That's a great touch. Helped a little bit by the net cord, yes, but she was playing to bring it down as close to the net cord as she could. It's a good serve. Yes, and a good little lead at mid game interval. Four point advantage. Have you managed to find out what the situation is on the coaches? Is the coach poorly or? No, I haven't heard anything. Nope. Strange, they say, on the first day, the Indonesians all had coaches working with them, and then suddenly yesterday, the doubles players were without a coach. Very odd. Responsibility in the front court, playing with a partner like Zhao Yunlei, who's normally in that position. And very effective, effective she is there. Oh. Again, it's Natsir who gets in, forces Zhao Yunlei off that net position. Change together, four or five shots to win. Here we go. One, two. She's in again. Good. See the change of direction with the third one across the defensive position of Zhao. And so far, it is reminiscent of yesterday's game, isn't it? From Very the much Indonesians. So. It's Natsir who's dominating this game at the moment. All over the front court. Serving and returning really well. Here we go again. Incredibly ambitious, you'd have to yeah. say. <laughs> no, made a complete mess of that, I'm afraid. And he knows it. Maybe watched Lee Yong Day late yesterday evening because Lee Yong Day played a beauty like that. Yeah, not sure he's in the same league though. <laughs> Tantawi at the moment, trying to keep Natsia out of the game. Yeah. Concerted effort there to put pressure on Tantawi, and in the end, it was his de defence that cracked.
two or three errors now from Tintoi Ahmad. Pushing through Nats here, aren't they? Trying to keep yeah. her out of the game now. Tantau making lots of errors. Telfic watching this one. His fourth match on court in this afternoon session. Touch that. I had a feeling he touched that. Mm, wouldn't mind seeing that again. Yeah. Mm, well, I'll be relieved to break the run there because that was five straight points. Again, very noticeable, all the pressure coming on Tantawi. Trying desperately to keep Liliana Natsir out of the game. It was she that was able to dominate, dominate the first part of this set. Yeah, cutting her out of the net again. Moving Tantawi around the rear court. Going <laughs> wide. Brilliant play from Julian Lay. Choice from Tantau in mid-court forehand again. Must know. 
needs to read that situation much better than that. Zhao Yun Lei setting up straight. She was already there. Yeah. Straight block was never on there. His partner having to retreat had no chance of picking up the next shuttle. So now just one point in it. It's better he's changed the direction this time. Here still with the shuttle gone past her, still had the racket head control. Two points away from the opening game. Well, the umpire, I can tell you, is having a word with. Late. It was the correct call, but the umpire very quick to spot that Xiao Yun Lei was spreading her arms out wide to indicate to the line judge that the shuttle was out, and that's deemed to be trying to influence the line judge's decision. level of badminton if you're wanting to beat world champions you can't really afford to make errors like that there you'd normally maybe expect the, the male player to look to attack the, the female defense but in this combination this Indonesian combination I think that's here defends a lot better than Tantawi yeah technically she's much much more accomplished player so back level 19 all turn of serve and the Chinese pair now on a run of four straight points and now game point The Indonesians cracked a little bit at the end there. But that's to take nothing away from the world champions who at the crucial stages were solid. Opening game to the number one seeds and defending champions, Zhang Yan and Zhao Yunlei. 21 19 in 19 minutes of play. Now you've got to feel that the Chinese coaching is going to be relatively simple here. Keep Natsir out of the game in the forecourt, push through to Tantawi and keep the pressure on him. Because he's not having his best day at the moment. With a lot of unforced errors. Technically in defence, he looks all at sea. I to think it won't have gone unnoticed by Zhang Jun. Zhang Jun, twice Olympic champion, once world champion.
Well, of course, when we watched the Indonesians yesterday, Ian, playing against the other Chinese pair of Xu Chen and Ma Jin, very different scenario in that they won the opening game and then, quite frankly, were poor in the second game, which they lost 21-7. Can't afford to be poor in the second game here because if they lose this match, the Indonesians are out of the tournament. Oh. Doesn't miss many of those, but broke the strings of her racket. That's possibly why she made the error. Yeah, yeah, the strings would explain that. You don't see Nazi missing those. I have to say they're up against it in this match now, though. Really desperately needed to win that first game to create some scoreboard pressure on the Chinese pair. The Chinese, having won that first set, will be quite confident now. Yes, and I think the disappointing thing to me is the manner in which they lost that opening game. Because having led 19-16, you know, it was simple errors, wasn't it, that basically gifted the game away. It wasn't as if the Chinese, who were solid, but they didn't go out and play magnificent rallies. No, one or two poor errors from Tantawi, poor choices. Just tend to be static as a bit of a shuttle watcher sometimes. That's here played two shots in this rally and he hadn't moved. Doesn't fill the space. That's a good shot though. Got up, took it early. Fixed the Chinese players in a deep defensive position. You will see it. Gets up early. Good deception. It's just clever placement, isn't it? I mean, it wasn't a powerful smash at all. Very, very clever placement. Mm. Well, not the best return of serve. No, we had the discussion yesterday. I mean, I was on a good line with that. I'm not sure that uh, Zhao Yun Lei from that side can see when he's coming to serve because Natsi is right in front of him. They do score a lot of points off this serve. We'll maybe see it here. The position that Natsi takes up, she changes sides. She changes sides with the si service, and she disguises the position that Ahmed's position a little bit when he's serving. amazing because she hardly ever seems to be in a rush but she's she's there in plenty of time it's the reading of the game service fault called struck above the waist yeah again right place right time right shot good mixed
Seth Rollins. That's a good shot, good finish as well. Good defense from Tantaro this time. Good variety. Putting in one or two cross defensive shots to keep Zhao Yunlei off that net position. And finding a nice angle down the line to finish the point. Yeah, she's used to making those though. Should be disappointed. Was in good position. Again, she'd read the reply. Was in the right place. Just didn't execute. Well, that's a passive first half of the game from the Chinese, you'd have to say, Jill. Yeah, and I'm. A little bit surprised about that. I'm really surprised. I expected them to come out and put lots of pressure on Tantawi. And they didn't. Sat back. Jang Nan. Happy to let the shuttle come to him on the midcourt rather than stepping in and closing the space down. And that gives Nats here to get into good position on the front court. And when she's in position on the front court, she can really dominate a game of mixed. Chang, Chang Nan's really lost his focus at the moment, hasn't he? Yeah. Okay, and that's a pretty simple error, really, for a player of his level. See his body language. Not quite there at the moment. Same again. Poor error, really. this well, again now you're late and even the shuttle arms going straight out surprise the umpire didn't have a word there see it here oh, yeah look it's arms going straight out yeah. And one suspects that did actually influence the line judge because it looked to me as if that was the incorrect decision oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a shocker you missed the, com missed the carpet completely really not sure what he was trying to do there He's missed the green bit. It's, it, he's so patchy, isn't he, as a as a player? Well, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's two really poor shots for a top class player. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's changed the whole momentum. Yeah. yeah. Let's just let the Chinese find a bit of rhythm. Good interception from Zhao Yunlei, though. Read yeah. the straight reply, didn't she? Was very positive. Stepping out to take that. Oh, 
bit more urgency from Zhang Nan there. And again, it's the defence of Tantawi that isn't up to the job. Yeah, and all of a sudden, it all started with that dubious line call, didn't it? But now five straight points and only three points the deficit has put a totally different complexion on the match. Yeah. Good, uh, good interception. Yeah, it's a line call, but two poor errors from Tantau as well. It suddenly sparked the Chinese into life, hasn't it? Yeah. See a little, it's great when you see a little bit of weakness and one or two errors on the other side of the court. You suddenly think, actually, yeah, yeah we don't need to go to three here. We'll step it up now. stopped yeah it's a different game now though yeah oh, oh that's, that's a big miss some one or two strange shots in this game you'd have to say Again, she didn't really need the line there. She was taking the shuttle well up the court. Could have used the centre. Could have played with some margin, but she went for the outright winner and missed it by a long way. Oh, magnificent. Goodness me, you see, he fluctuates between missing the, the entire carpet well, to playing a sensational shot like that. I'm not sure how he did that, because again, technically, he was in a poor position, really, but showed good reactions. And suddenly, they're away again. As you say, I think you used the word, Jill, it's a very patchy game from both pairs. easier than the previous rally and he missed it this is really you can see it here this is onto his favored backhand defense can't make the play Well, the umpire going to have a word with Zhao Yun Lei. He's not happy that she's taking so long in between rallies. Fair comment? Yeah, I think she's just holding the server. She keeps putting her hand up. She in, goes into a ready position and then puts her hand up. It just delays the play slightly. the ra long wa rallies develop you sort of half expect an error from Tantawi don't you well I seem to remember this score line in the opening game 13-17 down
that's nice. Best decision from Zheng Nan. Taking the shuttle relatively deep in the court and playing the block and allowing Nats here to come into that net position. That's a good shot though. Yeah, nice interception. Very good judgment. Pretty brave too. A drift at one stage at 5.13 down no, there's just two points in it Just one point the deficit. Oh, makes an error on serve. And that error gives two game points now to Ahmad and Natsia. normally does <laughs> which is signaling that he thought it was out but the line judge said no it was in so it is one game all in this mixed doubles group a encounter well they're keeping their hopes alive of qualifying for the semi-finals the indonesians because there's confirmation that it is one game all Made heavy work of it though, Ian, didn't they? Because to have such an advantage, 13 5, looked to be cruising and then it got awfully tight. Well, you'd have to say both the male players in that set had really bad patches. Zhang Nan had a terrible patch where he looked really lethargic, made a lot of unforced errors. And then Tam Tao returned the compliment, completely missing the green bit a couple of times, finding the surrounding carpet. Uh, it's pretty difficult to judge how this third game is going to go. You'd have to say, I was a little bit surprised by the tactics of the Chinese in the second game. What, just too passive to start with? Well, very passive, and also there was clear indications in the first game that it's Natsir who's making the play and hunting the shuttle down in the forecourt, and at the end of the first game they started going past Natsir to Tantau and had a lot more success with that tactic. And then in the second game, Zhang Nan very passive and let Natsir in on the front court. So certainly if it was me, I'd be wanting to go sort of 
third and fourth shot. Keep Natsir out of the rally. And try and get Zhao Yun Lei on the net position. But at the moment, anything could happen. Yeah. worried man to me and I think you're worried about the calculations of who's going to go through in the group but just to clarify once again if Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei win this match they definitely qualify because they would have played three and won a three Yep, you have to feel the Indonesians have got to win this game. Technically, nothing's decided until the other group match this afternoon, but uh, you'd have to say the second Chinese pair will be big favourites against the British pair. And that would mean they'd have two wins. Nice. The Indonesians off to the quicker start again. That to me and was a prime example of the point you made earlier about Tanto being static. Look, just, just standing in the middle of the court. Yeah, he can't take a central position there. And if you do, you've got to be ready. And he wasn't. No. As you say, planted, taking root. Tina Bound from Denmark and she's going to be a very happy lady indeed because she's already played her last group match in the women's singles and defeated Sung Jae Hyun in two straight games 21-13, 21-9 think about whether to overrule this let's have a look took his time oh, it's out. Yeah, it was out but he's got to make his decision immediately hasn't yeah, he yeah it was well out yes, of course with the giant screen here in the leaning stadium all the crowd had the advantage of seeing that as well so did the players from Natsia. She wasn't in a position to attack it and saw, just saw with perif good peripheral vision that Zhang Nam was anticipating the block and just held it and flicked it past him to the rear court. Great vision. from Zhang Nan there on the front court. Yes, of course, he was a semi-finalist last year in the men's doubles. Playing with Chai Biao. So he's a good all-court player. In fact, very much learned his trade in men's doubles rather than mixed. Surprise, going flat to Natsia there, not the best tactic. She set up the easy opportunity for her partner. Oh, and that 
chance here will be disappointed with that one again. But from a Chinese perspective, I don't think you really want to be giving that seer opportunities on third shot there. Oh, fantastic. Great shot. Got to question the tactic again. Beautiful technique, though. Didn't try and hit it hard. Guided it down into the space. Again, I'm a little surprised the umpire not having a word again. Zhao Yun Lei trying to influence the Lions judge, flinging her arms out wide as soon as the shuttle lands. What is the rule on that, Ian? Clearly, a player is not allowed to influence the line judge, so she's already had at least one warning from the umpire. I, I, don't, I don't think there's an actual rule, is there? But I think it's, it's certainly in the player's code of conduct. It's in the player's code of conduct, and it's in the referee's briefing that it shouldn't happen. But I don't think there's an actual law of the game. No, I understand that. But uh, presumably the umpire, if she does it again, ha would have every right to issue a yellow card. You can give a yellow card for it, yes. And that's it. That's what's so surprising to me on Chinese tactics. Really giving lots of that's here lots of opportunities in the front court, aren't they? <laughs> and when they do push through to Tan Tao, again, it's quite static. He's not read the play. Moves very late for the shuttle. Well, he made an error on serve at 18-19 in the second game, didn't he? Which gifted the game point opportunity to the Indonesians. And he's still struggling with his low serve. Good defence from that here. Not enough, though. Good persistence from the Chinese in attack. And Jun, appreciative of that. slenderest of possible advantages as they change ends in this third and deciding game. Full stretch, hold and flick over the head of Liliana Natsia.
two round the back in this rally already. Oh, well, once again, the arms went out from Zhao Yun Lei. And once again, I wouldn't mind seeing that again. I'm amazed. Uh, it is just out, but I'm amazed the umpire said nothing. Yeah. She's persistently... Uh, she's done it persistently throughout the whole of this match. Yeah, she was doing it last night in the women's doubles as well, wasn't she? Yeah, he's, call it, he's calling her over, actually. One more, he says, and I'm going to give you a yellow card. Well, he's already warned her three times. It's a little bit late, really. Yep. steps forward onto the midcourt goes to meet the shuttle rather than letting the shuttle come to him yeah. cuts their opponent cuts the opponent's time down to get into position you'll see it here he's moving forward onto this there he goes bang that's in no time to get into a defensive position Tantawi, good defence, good reactions in defence, and when the opportunity came, he was quick to get into position overhead. It was a good body smash to win the point. And then that's a simple error. Actually, better when there's pace on the shuttle, isn't he? Where he hasn't got to think, where he hasn't got time to think. Where it's a reaction, he's he's very good, and he's got a little bit of time with the softer plate. Just makes too many errors for me. Mm, not the right time to be trying a tricky little shot like that. their move very dominant very focused since the mid, mid game interval yeah in fact they've won seven of the last eight points oh, good defense well it had a look Interesting to see a replay. The shuttle was almost over. Roll along the net. Look at that. Had two looks. Zhang Zhang. Zhang Nan. A little bit guilty there of hitting into. That's his favoured zone there. court from Xiao Yun Lei. His partner was just stood admiring it though. <laughs> he was a bit of a spectator, wasn't he? Didn't flicker. Yeah, this is a great shot and look at Zhang Nan. Didn't react at all to the next shuttle. Where is he? That's his. Yeah, 
I'm sure she does have a look at her partner there. I, I would too. Created the opportunity. Pinto was behind the shuttle. Had time. Poor execution, really, from overhead there. That's a great rally he's played over yeah. there. Chain five, six shots together, and the previous point was much easier. He put it halfway down the net. the drift to take that out the side of the court that landed plum on the line with six match points. It's gone wide, only needed the one opportunity. Well, they were a little too passive in the second game and the Indonesians took full advantage. But in the end, gathered themselves together and from 9-10 down, they then probably won eight of the next nine rallies. And it was that little passage of play that really changed the momentum in their favour. So confirmation of the score, 21-19, 18-21, 21-14 in the deciding game in a match just one minute shy of the hour mark.